Welcome back, this is the Amajack. And today we've got Gunslinger West London Suicidal. I've been I've been obsessed with Reddit. I love I love reading subreddits where uh, it's all about stupid people being stupid. I just I love it. I get such a kick out of it. I get such a such an enormous kick out of it. There's so many of them too, there's so many. And uh, not even just stupid people getting uh, getting um being stupid, but just about stupid things happening to people, too. You know, like, uh, F this person, in, or F you in particular. You know, if you've ever been there. Just about, you know, something happening that's just so out of the world, like, just like, what even? And it just comes in and just specifically, you know, right on, on one person or one thing. And it's just like, no! You don't get to do that. Oh, I love it. great it's great stuff and then there's um the you know shiz americans say oh i love that too are the straights okay we talked about recently um confidently incorrect there's so many of them there's so many of them they're all good they're all great i love them one of my favorites is probably the the shiz americans say I love I love seeing Americans be stupid. I love it. It's not 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 that all Americans are stupid, okay? But I do love seeing the dumb Americans being dumb. Because uh, a lot of Americans have this weird superiority complex about their country where America's like the best country and it's just wrong. Um like factually wrong in some cases. Uh it's just, it's so it's so much I find I get so much pleasure out of seeing those people get just shut down. And then and then you also get the other ones where like a lot of Americans will just assume that everybody else on the internet lives in America. Uh, if you live in America, there's a good chance that you've probably done this. Um you can't see me. Um or that somebody you know has done this, because it's a, it's a very common. Oh dear, that was incredible. I I, th I thought it would bounce off. I didn't think that they had it modeled. Um, but uh, everybody everybody uh, you know Americans they always assume that everybody else on the internet is American, and it happens all the time. You'll be talking to somebody and you'll be like, oh I can't like. You know I've always wanted to try this uh, this dish, but I could just never find the ingredients, and somebody be like. Meanwhile, all of these ingredients are easily found in any marketplace in America. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, that's great if you live in America, which I don't. <laughs> or, um, you know, what'll happen oftentimes is people will be like, yeah, well, you know, you, you don't have to like him, but he's your president. And you'll be like, no, he's, he's not my president. He's like, look, you don't have to vote for him, but he is your president. I'm like, no, no, I'm Canadian. We don't have a president. We have a prime minister. They're separate. Um, or uh, oh, it's, 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 it happens all the time. It's just Americans assuming that everybody else is in America. It's it's really really annoying at times, but also really funny. I find it really funny. Cause it, oh, it's, you, you, they're, they're, you just you get it's so satisfying. When when Mar when American is like really arrogant about it, and then like yeah, well you know you just have to put up with it. That's what being American is like. And I'm like, well, must suck for you Americans then, because <laughs> uh, up up here in not America, we don't we don't have to, you know, or uh, you know pe people people always be talking about. Uh, Oh, and then there, there's also, like, I don't know, a, a lot of Americans, um, and I'm sure that other people in other countries do the same kind of stuff, too, uh, but it's it's the Americans who get the most uh, flack for it. Um, so, you know, that's that's who we get to laugh at. It's also the Americans who are doing it mostly. Um, people in other countries don't tend to do it <laughs> very much. You know, at times, sure, but... Um, 
it's, it's, it's a largely American problem. Um, but uh, it's just it's so it's so it's so enjoyable. It's so enjoyable. But they they often oftentimes you know you'll you'll find some some American that has no idea about how the rest of the world works. You know, they they'll they'll think that they're the most technologically advanced country in the world, which is just provably false. Um, they're not at all. America is is very far behind in a lot of just kind of like normal, like life conveniences in in other places. Like uh, in America, I believe it's common for you to not be able to tap your card on a machine. I, I believe that in some places you still have to write down the amount that uh, that you want to tip at a restaurant on like a piece of paper and then hand the the waitress or waiter. Your, your credit card and then they just walk away and come back and they're like thank you and that's just like a normal thing which is bizarre absolutely no way I'd give somebody my card in America like you no know, no <laughs> I'm, I'm all for cultural differences you're not just taking my credit card no that's not a cultural difference that's a um like a, a financial risk it's this it's stupidity, um, you know. Like just 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 a lot of places where it's normal in other countries to have that convenience. It's just not there in America. Uh, like like tap on a card or whatever. I hear a lot of Americans talking about how their uh, their cards like swipe. Thing, their stripe or whatever is uh, is damaged, and so they're not able to like buy anything because their stripe's damaged. Like, what do you mean you're like? What? Why are you using your stripe? Why are you swiping your card on something? I just don't get it. They have to use signatures still on when when you pay with a credit card. What? <laughs> like oh, there's just there's just so many. There's so many. There's so many. Um, but but despite that, you'll often see Americans talking about how they're the most technologically advanced uh, country in the world. Which is is just again like provably false, um, and uh, they'll they'll like ask you, you know, they'll they'll ask you what it's like to live in like Canada, like it's a third world country or something. <laughs> they'll ask you what it's like to live in Britain or or wherever. Or if, or if you're ever there, they'd be like, "Yeah, what it's like? What, what? How's it like uh, being over in America? The world of the free, and uh, you know, with all the the best of the things." And you're like, "Well, it kind of stinks because um, <laughs> I can't pay for anything, and the toilets don't seem to work right. Um, I couldn't find the soap in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, it's just like, uh, it's 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 always funny." It's always funny, and it's all—it's all because of the—it's—it's—it's it's, it's because of the whole like American thing, right? Where you have your twelve amendments or whatever it is. I'm not American. I don't know the stuff. Okay, believe it or not, people who aren't American don't learn American history very much necessarily. It's not very rev relevant to to my, you know, well-being. Um, you got your 12 amendments or whatever kind of nonsense that you got. And those are like, you know, set in stone and can't be changed. And I think that that kind of portray or uh, kind of pushes a, uh, this kind of culture of, of stubbornness a lot of the time. I don't know. I really, I really love, I really love that sub though. Cause you just get to see dumb Americans being dumb and it's always fun to laugh at dumb Americans being dumb. Kind of a similar thing to um, choices, uh, like being trans and laughing at straight people or cis people or whatever being what dumb. You know, it's closed. It, it's it's just, it's just, it's funny seeing people who just don't even know why what they're doing is dumb you be dumb. People disgust me. Your incessant gobbling of money. I will exterminate you. I can't kill what I can't see. I can't see him. And people get mad too. People get mad when you're when you're laughing at uh, 
dumb Americans because they're like, mur, 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 you can't be that's, that's uh, you know, xenophobic and, and stuff. I'm like, I don't know. It's not like there's anything wrong with America. <laughs> merely, merely with its its dumb, you know, the the subset of citizens who are dumb. That's it. That's all. You know, I I I I'm I'm free to laugh at any American who thinks that I live in an igloo. You know, I'm I'm allowed to laugh at that. Oh, those those are my favorite though. When when they just don't understand anything about another country. They'll, they'll think that I live in an igloo because I'm in I'm in Canada. I think that it's always snowing here. It's like the Arctic. <laughs> nah, we have like rain mostly. Actually, I live in a rainforest. Generous. We live, we like got, got a lot of rain here. It's, it's a rainforest, you know. Not so much snow. Not so much snow. We do get some snow. We'll probably be getting some snow next month to February-ish, typically. You know, winter. Um. <laughs> But KF West London, we don't we don't get too much snow, not not an awful lot. Oh, and then there's uh there's always the classic, the classic. Um, and this isn't an American specific thing. This is just a uh, general dumb people thing. Uh, there's there, there's the classic, you know, somebody will will say that they uh, they're Asian or something like that. You know, it'll be like a, an award ceremony or something like that. Like first Asian person to, to be doing you know X or whatever, and uh, or it'll you know it, it'll just it'll just it'll just mention that somebody is Asian and then the person is Indian, which is in Asia. So yes, Indian people are Asian. That's you know it's it's on the continent of Asia. So it's it's Indian, but. Um, oh, you just, you get to laugh at all the people who are, who will be outraged by it. Be like, they're not Asian, they're Indian. I'm like, where do you think India is? Where, where, where do you think that, that India resides? It's not, it's not in Africa. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not in Europe. It's in, uh, it's in this little old place known as Asia. In this little place known as Asia. It's not, you know, Southeast Asia or whatever. It's not, you know, the China, America, or China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, or whatever. You know, it's, it's 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 India, but it's it's Asia. Oh, it's so it's so funny watching people who don't know that uh, that India is is in Asia. Be like, what do you mean they're Asian? They're Indian. Like, eh. oh, and then you also get the the classic, and this is an American. Uh, thing, um, but you also get the classic people who will, who will be like, uh, I don't think you're allowed to call yourself Indian unless you're native to America. I'm like, yeah, you've taken it like a step farther than it already went, and you made it so much worse. But it happens all the time, because uh, you know, for whatever reason, the 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 Native American indigenous people are called Indians, which is like. <laughs> it just boggles my mind. Boggles my mind, dude. Canada gets a bit of that as well. I'm sure um I'm I'm sure even other places in the Americas gets uh, gets similar things to that. Probably, right? Uh But uh, it's always it's always funny. Watching people deny Indian people of being able to call themselves Indian because they're not Native American. I'm like, yeah, the, the Native Americans aren't Indian. You know, some, you know, Christopher Columbus or whoever, you know, it's like a bunch of people that ended up coming over to, to the Americas. They just came over and they're like, aha, yes, India. And they're, the, the, the natives are like, uh, no, this, this isn't India. We don't, uh, we don't know what, what you're talking about, really. Um, you know, we're the Az, we're not the Aztecs. Um, yeah, the, yes, the Aztecs were Native America, but I don't, I, I, I think that was more of a Spanish thing than, I don't know history too well, but I think that's more Spanish than, um, so that's more of a Mexico region. I don't, I don't, I don't know history too well. Okay, look, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. Um, regardless, you know, they'll, they'll, uh, you know, some, somebody comes over and they're like, ah, you're Indian, and they're like, no, no, we're not. And uh, they're like, well, we're gonna 
call you Indian anyway. And like even to this day, they're still called Indian. I'm like, they're just not Indian at all. It's just not what they are. You know? Not, it's not... It's not really... You know? We're just, we're just gonna we're just gonna call you it anyway, and that just lasts. It just sticks. It just it just lasts forever. And uh, yeah, it's always it's always India. India as as a whole is 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 uh, not responsible, but res responsible kind of takes the the responsibility off of the idiots. Um, but responsible is also kind of the only word I can think of. India is kind of responsible for a lot of stupidity. Yeah, it just really feels weird. India is. Um, Subject to a lot of stupidity. We'll, 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 we'll say it that way. I don't, India isn't the stupid part, okay? Um, but India is, uh, is subject to a lot of stupidity. Just just because... Um, I don't know why, but it, there's there's so much stupidity in the world where, where it's, it's, it's revolving around India. You know, native Indians or whatever. I'm like, okay, you're, you're already off to a bad start. And then uh, people not knowing that India is, is in Asia. Uh, you get people gatekeeping whether or not you're allowed to be Indian, whether or not you're allowed to be Indian based on whether you're Native American. That's a good one. Um, you get uh... oh, and then you get you get the classic. You know, what's her face named her daughter India, and uh, she went off on this huge rant about how she hates names after geological places. Uh, what a that 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 lady's special. She's special. Um, she's very special. I watched that video uh, fairly recently. She was like uh, going off on like first names that she hates. She hates celebrity names and she hates geological names and she hates names after uh, um, yeah, like just this huge list of names that she hates. And then uh, her daughter's name is India. <laughs> it's like. India's not a location. She's like, no. <laughs> really? Really? Just deleting India off the off the face of the earth like that? Uh, it's fun. It's fun laughing at stupid people. And you know the the the, the, the other the other part of that is uh, it's not even that like the people are stupid. But you, you just have a lapse in judgment for a moment or whatever, you know. I'm sure I'm sure I'm out there on some, you know, stupid person website where people are laughing at me for for something that I said someday that was really stupid. I'm I'm definitely on uh on some some list somewhere about uh, stupid people for sure. I've said dumb things in my life. It's still fun to laugh at it, right? It's just I just I I, uh, I love laughing at stupid people. Not even, not even stupid people, but just, just dumb, just things that people do that are just very stupid. And you know what? A lot of that does kind of make you stupid. Like when you say that your daughter isn't named after a location and her name is India, I think that you're a stupid person. Just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, okay? I'm just, I'm just saying. A confidently incorrect is always a good one as well. Confidently incorrect. It's, uh, it's about people who are like wrong about something. But they're just so confident about it. Like, have you ever seen those Jeopardy or um, Wheel of Fortune or any kind of those like quizzical kind of shows? You know, um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And uh, they get the question, and, and then and uh, like, oh, I know this one. I know this one. It's this. They're like, you know, you can you can start clapping already. Start clapping. Start clapping. This is this is the right answer, and then it's just wrong, and you're like. Yeah, I felt that one, dude. I felt that one. I felt that one deep in my bones. It's gotta hurt. It's gotta hurt. That's how you wanna play it, huh? That's how we do it in Dallas. But definitely, definitely, definitely looking at, at dumb Americans is, is, a, is a favorite one. At a certain point, it gets old, and it just kind of feels like... Uh, a lot of the posts just end up kind of being, haha, all Americans are, are stupid, and you're like, I don't know, that that really feels like more of a problem with, like, America as a whole than, like, that individual person. I feel, I feel like you're kind of poking fun at them for something that they had no real control over just because they were born in America, and 
weren't properly educated about, you know, how the world kind of works and stuff. Um, but a lot of it's really good. A lot of it's really good. I just don't like laughing at people who, 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 you know, for things that they don't have control over, you know? Like, uh, that girl has control over knowing that India is a place. And she named her daughter after a geological location. She has control over that. I'll laugh at her for that. You know? But, uh, somebody else doesn't necessarily have control over... Total control, anyway. Over knowing... Uh, every, you know, facet of truth about the, the political... Um, landscape in America because A, we've got the time for that, and then B, like, they're being lied to anyway. <laughs> they're like on all fronts. So it's like, I don't know. Some some things are, are kind of. I don't want to laugh at the person. I kind of feel bad for them more than anything else, but. Oh, it gets, it gets a good laugh out of me all the time anyway. It gets a good laugh out of me. And then I get down to, like, past the, the good stuff in the top, and it's just starting to be like, haha, America sucks. I'm like, ah. You know, you'll, you'll end up with, like, stupid things, like somebody being like, America's the best, and then somebody else being like, America's not the best, and then it's, you know, shiz America's insane. And I'm like, I don't know. That doesn't really seem like a dumb thing to say. I disagree with America being the best country, but i don't live in america i assume if i lived in america i'd probably have a different opinion on that you know it's not really a objective thing to to kind of criticize anyway that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching remember like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say i'll see you next time uh, bye bye